ATVs for the hell up. There are those who are not aware of the basic joys in life when times are lonely and luxuries are scarce. They have nowhere to turn for comfort. But some of us are alike in that we enjoy these simple, natural things. The warmth of the sun as it slowly melts the snow or the sound of the wind as it blows through the pines. When these things come to mind, it's my Colorado Canyon I remember. When the sun sets below the mountains, its rays scattered across the state. I like to think that it's reaching from me to others and connecting us in some sense. For I know that while I'm enjoying this beauty, someone somewhere must be too. Despite its beauty, it will always leave me with a feeling of loneliness. For as I watch the sun go down, it's my Colorado Canyon I remember. With the passing of winter comes spring with the wind and the rain, and it will become a time of longing for clear skies. But as, as it starts to rain, I can only think of how peaceful it sounds and how fresh the air smells afterward. It's a season when life is pure and a time to look forward to what it will bring. But when I see it start to rain, it's my Colorado Canyon I remember. This is a table that I made while I was up in Colorado up in the, on the uh, Purgatory Peak Ranch alone. I've got all the things that were important to me. One of them was time marches on, we're not here for long. Got a rattlesnake, all of my grandchildren's names, all my ex-wives' names, some of the guns, Lone Wolf, High Point, Marines, Spurs, Broncos, Navy, Marines, Blah, 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 some of the brands of the cow, cow ranches I worked on. TS, Lazy J, 90, uh, 69, Lazy, 6 Lazy 9 Ranch, 96 Ranch. Uh, hopefully, the grandkids will like that. A lot of things that I collect is, 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 is memories that I didn't know existed anymore out there physically. So when I get these things, they're a constant memory of what I did when I was young or what I did yesterday or the day before yesterday or even what I might have done today. It's not big things, it's smaller things. Uh, the little things, I've got a jar that when I was a kid that I pick up stuff off the ground that people had lost. And my niece, Melanie, had sent this to me 10, 15 years ago. I didn't know it opened that jar up and all these things just blew my mind. They were antiques. And I started doing that again. I pick up little things off the ground. I pick up things that uh, are my reminders of people that have given to me little objects and what have you. And I've got a whole big jar now full of another lifetime of precious memories. And that's what it is. Precious memories. Hope you enjoy the memories. Anita Ann said going through your brown jar was her favorite thing to do when she, want, when she visited you. Love you, your niece Melanie. Found some things when cleaning out 62 years from my parents' home. Looks like mama's stuff was tucked away in a closet. Anyway, this is the stuff that I had gathered as a child. I put a few little things in there. That, what that is, old Christmas tree thing, old Bull Durham pouches, I put that in there recently, another little bottle, another little bottle, I don't know what that is, that's a 
have no idea. This is uh, old Red Rooster shoes, little pin. Another little pin. I don't know what that is. Another Gumagachi. Oh, that's a penny that I found on the railroad track. I remember that, and it was flattened out. I'll be down and forgot about that. I don't know what that is. Or that. Or that. Pagoda Lumber Company Incorporated. Pagoda, Texas. 1933. Which is crazy. It's my pistol I used when I was a kid. This is how I unlocked everybody's door when I robbed them. This is the old, does that say bugler? Huh. It's old fighting cock spur for my dad, probably. Grand Canyon, Arizona. This is uh, LaGrange, Texas, and this is where the uh, chicken ranch was located. It was a whorehouse. One of the best uh, in the United States, it's most famous, matter of fact. Uh, I don't know whether it still exists. I think it may do. I'm not sure. But, uh, and uh, it says, keep me clean and I'll tell what I've seen. Tell me clean and I'll tell what I've seen. Good for all night. Now, I don't know whether you could get a penny's worth of good night out of that or not, but uh, <laughs> that, that is the old LaGrange Chicken Ranch. You can look it up on the uh, internet or whatever, and it'll tell you everything you need to know about it. I never did use it, because it was only a penny's worth. I hope my children will get to see this stuff. Well, I make a special effort to get out early before the world starts to move about. When it's somewhat free of dust, noise, and trucks. I see bright paths as they lace the mountains below and above. I see pipelines and hear the green boxes that whine, hiss, and roar. I see the ones that drive on the scars they call roads as they litter without regret. It's this destruction of God's earth that causes me to exit my breakfast, where I now see the caravan of trucks and machinery coming down the road. But on morning such as this, it's my Colorado Canyon I remember. As the evening comes, I look in the valley to gaze at my horses, but I don't recognize them. For well, they've changed colors. They were chestnut, sorrel, and palomino. But now they are the same as the dust that rises and settles on their hair. I lose sight of them as the trucks rumble down the scars, making the canyon disappear in the cloud. But as I cough and spit the dust, it's my Colorado Canyon I remember.